Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, it's April 2nd. April 2. And so I've got two on my mind today. And I just came and sat here, opened my Bible, and um, the Lord just gives me uh, quick thoughts. He really does. And because, you know, I always try to do a video less than 10 minutes, uh, even like between 5 and 10 minutes, you know, because people don't, including me, you know, <laughs> can't think that we get restless. So anyway, one of the things that I've done in the past is um, go through Proverbs. There's 31, and you can have one every day. So uh, I just, the Holy Spirit just led me to Proverbs 2. And so, uh, because this is April 2, and so we're talking about Tuesday. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So, um, but it's pretty cool because um, without reading you this whole thing, it says, my son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you. And so we get up and we read our Bible and we just put the Lord in our heart. We just magnify him, you know. We just think about him, pray, you know, say prayers and you know, concentrate on them and meditate on the word. And so anyway, here it is. And uh, without reading you the whole thing, I'm going to tell you. Proverbs 2, it gives, it. these are the words that um, Solomon, this is Solomon writing, is using. It's So Proverbs 2, 2 is about wisdom and understanding. Uh, 3 is discernment and understanding. Uh, 5 is on knowledge. And these are the things, if you receive my words, these are the things that you get. And number six is knowledge and understanding. Number seven is wisdom. Number nine is understand. Number 10 is wisdom. You get all this? Uh, and knowledge. Number 11 is discretion and understanding. And so, boy, don't we long for that. You know, so many things that, you know, we're going through life on a day-to-day -day basis, making decisions, trying to just do life. Just do life, you know, pay the bills, go to work, you know, run a household, take care of kids. You know, we need all these things. We need wisdom, understanding, discernment, uh, knowledge. And um, it goes on wisdom and knowledge and understanding, discernment. And I love the word discernment because, um, you know, a lot. it keeps you from being deceived. All this, if you gain all these things, knowledge and wisdom and stuff. That's helping you to not be deceived by the enemy because that's what's going on out there. You know, the enemy is constantly trying to deceive us and constantly trying to lead us down a dark path. And then at the end here, it says, um, if you walk in the way of goodness and keep the paths of righteousness, for the upright will dwell in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the last number, two, Proverbs 2, 22, says, but if... The wicked will be cut off from the earth and the unfaithful will be uprooted from it. So, you know, there's a there's a good end to every story, right? You know, so don't worry. Just stick with God, you know, just um, just and pray. You know, Solomon prayed for understanding and the Lord was so, he didn't pray for wealth. He didn't pray for um, to be popular and all that. You know, he prayed for wisdom and the Lord was so excited that he just granted a double portion. So... So um, that's what we want to pray for today. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment, discernment, discretion. And so um, I'm going to end here with the helmet of salvation. I mean, the sword, what do you call it? The um, uh, armor of God, sorry. And so it starts with the helmet of salvation. So I'm going to... It has the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the sword of the spirit, and the shoes of peace. So I wrote this down to remind me, and I stick it here by my Bible. And every day, so I just look at it, meditate on it, think about it, you know, and I tell myself, I sort of break it down into regular terms. In other words, I, I can say to myself, I am saved. You know, I do have Jesus in my heart. And so... According to God, I'm righteous. You know, when he sees us, he sees Jesus. He doesn't see anything but Jesus. And so uh, we have the shield of faith, which means I have faith in God. I have the belt of truth, which means I speak truth. When I'm speaking, when the Lord is speaking through me, it's only truth. And I have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. 
And so when we speak out and we, you know, like we've talked about before, memorizing scriptures, you know, and saying for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And so we need to speak that whosoever shall believe shall, shall believe shall not perish and have everlasting life. So um, that's a word that's powerful because the, the Bible is alive and we speak out scripture. It's, it's bringing life. And so then the last one is shoes of peace. And so um, that's very important. You know, I think about because I get aggravated easily, you know, and I get, uh, I just get frustrated, you know, and so, but I don't want to be that way. I want to speak peace because when we get frustrated and we react poorly and whatever, you know, that's not peace. That's not bringing peace to the world. That's not bringing peace to into your workspace or into your home life, into your kids, even in your neighbors, you know, you need to speak peace. And, and I learned years and years ago that, um, Peace is so important. I've lived in a situation where there's no peace. I haven't been. Maybe you have too. You know, where there's everybody's aggravated, everybody's stressed, and there's just no peace. And I've found to seek that out and to be in a place and to not, I have moved away. I have gone away from places that just don't, there's just no peace, you know. So you have to, you know, pray to God and ask him to just move you out of the way or you be the peacemaker, you know. And always speak peace. It's just, it's the comfort. It's the peace of your heart. And and peace actually will bring you wisdom and knowledge and understanding and discernment. Because when you're anxious and when you're worried and stuff, you can't, you can't think peace, you know. And so you can't process what, you can't process the peace of the Lord, you know. So just come in here into your upper room or wherever you go to your Bible, you know. And just be quiet and be get at peace. And that's when you can obtain all the things of God. So I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.